Hello everyone, this is Lorena, and I'm back with another Dillings video. I I have completed Mazar's event, but I haven't uploaded the rest of it. So just letting everyone know that information, even though it's probably obvious that I'm just behind again. I'll catch up again, don't worry. I haven't finished the shutdown arc yet. Like, I thought that I would create a new PvP playlist. <laughs> Because the current one is getting full. And I'm considering it full because it's it has a lot of videos in it. Don't worry. It's, it, it has plenty. Plenty of good content in there. And I'm, I've got another one now. And now who's out here? I want to know. All right, that's not a very interesting matchup, but I'm sure we'll see more of these. And Mazar's event is over, but I'm sure he'll show up too. He might even show up first if he has that much of an ego, but so do I. You may be wondering why I'm bringing him up again. You know, I did feel stupid for like, five minutes after dueling him recently but I don't think I can seriously feel I'm stupid because that's how powerful my my uh, ego is when it comes to my intelligence it's just I, I can't think of myself as an actual idiot but I can't say things that I've done are stupid I will do that All right, and and Jaden loses, and Jaden also wins. Yeah, I'm not really sure that dueling yourself is very fun, but I guess I'll ask Luke later how that go how that is. I is it is it fun, Luke? Just asking for a friend. I still have no idea what that episode was about. It seems to be some kind of weird dropped plotline. Maybe it was symbolic. I'm confused. I, I, we never got an explanation. As far as I know. I don't recall hearing about one. All right. We're going in. Oh. Mazar, you're the last person I dueled. Yeah, it sounds about right. After losing like that, I'm pretty sure I did decide to take a break. Who else is in here? Yami Yugi, Yugi, Bones, Kaiba, also fuck Bones, Sarah, Mai, Yugo. Yugo, get, go take a break! Mazar, Sartorius, and Mazar again. And I won, I won against Sartorius, so the scarf was preserved. <laughs> oh god. The script will stay preserved, probably. Okay, you've got a massive ego, go... Go so You need to be taken down a peg, dude. Seriously. Uh... I'm supposed to take him down a peg with this? I don't really think it matters which deck he's using. Let's just be real. I mean, I might win, but... Hmm. I doubt. I'm just gonna set this and hope he wastes removal on it. But if he's using his usual cards plus Kite's extra deck, I'm just like, yeah, I'm fucked. And I'm fucked because he activated Tachyon Dragon Domination. Tachyon. 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 Taki you, you know what? Takian was just too powerful for that field. <laughs> I'm just like, damn. It nearly broke the sphere field. 
So Mazar had to leave and go somewhere where he can live and Kite can't. That's not the official story, but it's the funny version of it. Wait, that's not funny, is it? Well, I'm in villain mode, so I guess I'm... Uh, you know what? I'm a villain. I can say it's hilarious. I, I can say it's hilarious that Kite died on the moon. Although I don't actually think it is. I... Mazar! I hate that card! Although, to be honest, considering how I opened, I'm just like, well, I'm probably going to lose. So, does it really matter if that happens in this particular way? No. It's still the same outcome. What's the problem? It's like, I see my hand. I'm probably fucked. There's no surprise if I'm right. I'm in suspense. Alright then. If we're being technical, that first kite card is actually a different kite card. And you may be like, what? What's the difference? The difference is one kite is uh, more likable than the other one. You may be like, what does that mean? I have no idea. I just know opinions. I've heard them. That's what I can tell you. I cannot tell you why other people have their opinions. That's not something that I can tell you because that's everyone else, not me. Although, do I agree? Um, mostly, yes. You may be wondering why I agree if I can't really defend anyone else's opinion. Hmm, good question. I don't know either. But you know why I probably have that preference? Well, the legacy characters in Arc 5 kind of, uh... Kind of damaged the main Arc 5 cast a bit. And I'm going to go with that explanation. Unfortunately, this also applies to Crow. Especially Crow. Although I do agree with what Crow said to Yuya. Yuya, you need food to eat. You can survive without smiles. Yuya, I did it for a long time. Um, meaning what? I don't know. When I was a child... When I was a child and I was super young, there would be people that would try to get me to smile. And I would hate it. So, uh, I'm just like... I'm not going to be nice about it. No, no. I will not smile for you, Yuya. I didn't want to smile for people back then, and I won't for you. Unless you earn it. And the other people didn't earn it. I'm just ticklish, which was unfortunate for me. Although I don't remember if that's why I would smile, necessarily. But doctors did have me frustrated when they would be like, smile. No, fuck you. I'm miserable, let me frown. Although I'm not sure if I was frowning because I was described as stoic and my my um, face was just, it, it had a limited range of facial expressions. I have autism. So I probably just... I probably just wasn't really... I probably didn't have much of a facial expression. Uh, well, until they forced me into having one. That wasn't whatever the base expression was. Alright, now there's a problem here. Now there's no longer an issue. I'm getting rid of that set card, you say. I know what it is. I've somehow managed to retain information long enough to actually say that. Yes, I would like to summon a card from my hand. Although Yusei is probably going to use this against me because, uh... I don't really think those cards are surviving next turn, but let's see. Hmm... Never mind, I, it looks like I'm winning, actually. 
I got lucky. Good. I need to rank up some more, to be fair. I mean, seriously. I didn't fusion summon anything. <laughs> uh, oh my god. I didn't. I did not summon a thing. Wait a minute. Okay, that sounded a bit wrong since I said I didn't summon anything, but I meant I didn't fusion summon anything. I was just reading what you say said to me. And then I was sort of reading what Jaden said and I didn't see all of it. And now I'm just like, can you say come back? I want to read that. I'm lazy. You know what? If I'm so lazy, I can just rewatch this entire video and then everything will be back to normal. Back to what kind of normal, though? I don't know. Okay, so it's So Burner's turn. I have mixed feelings about this. But I want to win. And you know, maybe I will win. Hmm. I've lost against this archetype before. The first time I dueled it, I'm pretty sure I lost. I deleted that replay, if I remember correctly. Did I delete it? I don't know, but I think I did. I have a replay saved from a while back. I don't know who it was, but I'm just sitting here like, why is that replay there? I'm actually wondering who, who, who it is. I'm just like, did I still, did I keep that draw? Or, or did I, why did I lock that? My replays are weird. Although I saved one replay because I ended one dude's winning streak and it was massive. But you know why it was massive? Because he probably, he probably grinded his way from rookie rank into platinum. So how impressive is that? I don't know. But I ended his winning streak and that's all that I, that I cared about. And that's all I cared about when I added it to my replay list. And I, I don't care how he got those wins, just that I ended it. Okay. Um. And let me look at this card. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I see. All right, well, I, I used mystical space hyphen on that. Um, what? Okay, sure. I'm going to use my other one now. To get rid of that card. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it. What do you, yeah, that's right. Lose. Lose. I've got more power than you. Um, I'm not sure if I should be saying that. That's a bit rude, but I do feel like it's true. I mean, honestly. Um. What? Hold on a second. Wh what? Okay, you can banish that, but I can still activate. Hold on. And now what are you going to do? It's the ultimate nightmare. This is actually part of how I lost that duel against Mazar. Did he taunt me? Because I did not read a damn thing. There was one taunt that I actually did see. Because it was my opponent's turn. He wasn't doing anything. I wasn't doing anything. So I was able to see what the taunt was. And I made sure that... And I was wondering, did I actually get a taunt? Did I see it? So, so I went through the taunts for that character. And I'm just like... Damn. Roasted. But who was he talking about? Me or him? 
Because I'm the one that won. <laughs> Alright, next. I believe after this I can go collect my daily rewards. And also, what what is the schedule like for the rest of February? Because I'm pretty sure I forgot something. Paradox. Hello, Paradox. Did you see something that you shouldn't have seen? Did you? Did you? I will kick your ass, Paradox! Probably the only in-character thing I will say all day. Well, actually, it's dark, so I guess I should say all night. But, you know, I can't record after a certain hour, so... I'm not afraid of your monsters. I'm not afraid of your spells. I'm not afraid of you. And though I like your character design, it looks nice. That's probably the only nice thing I will say to you. Just the fact that I like your character design. Malefic Cyber Int Dragon. What the? You know... What does that card do? I, I just have to read. Paradox, I have to read. If this card is taken on someone using a black wing monster as a material and is traded as a tuner while face up on the field cannot be destroyed by card effects, you can direct one black wing monster on your, on your graveyard. And this card will lose Okay. Alright. Wait a minute, what? This card gains during the damage. What the hell? Either way, I've got a perfect solution to this problem. I think. <laughs> my my opinion, and honestly, I think it is a pretty good solution, if you ask me. No one can disagree if I win, just saying. There can be no disagreements if I win. So I know I took a while to make a move, Paradox, but I was trying to read. And then I, I had trouble reading because, well... I stumbled over the words I was trying to read very quickly. You know, I, I just don't know if I read them right. But I don't have time to uh, act like my reading comprehension matters when there's a timer on screen. And now this is, this is a trick. I'm going to attack you with this. All right. My opponent just surrendered. Good. You should know when surrendering is the best course of action. Especially when you're up against me. And I do realize I haven't really been acting like much of a villain, but I, I, uh, I'm getting there. I'm thinking about it. I'm cooking. I'm cooking upstairs, don't worry. Although I think I acted more like a villain before the villain arc. Especially when I had the armor on. I definitely had my moment. So, Burner, hello. Do you want revenge? I'm not going to let you have it. Okay, you might get it. But you'll have to earn it! You might win, but we're going to find out. No holding back. Well, good, good. I'm glad we agree on that point, So Burner. I almost said someone else's name. To be honest, why? I almost called him Alistair. Why? Do I really... Dude, if I had to pick between Aster and So Burner, who would I rather duel? 
I have no idea. Both of them kick my ass a good portion of the time. Though with though with Aster, I can't be like power creep much. I, I don't really think I can do that here either, to be fair. Although against Salomon Great, uh, maybe. But that's a big maybe. Because, I mean, it, it's still pretty good, but... I don't know, man. Uh, didn't I beat him to get to King of Games once? Uh, the only time I've actually made it? Uh, the only time. I have tried since then, but I just haven't done it again. Uh, that's what happens when you procrastinate. And some people get to King of Games in a single day and I'm over here like... I have no time for that shit. Yeah, and then I wonder why I don't make it. Are you going to summon Trishula? I don't think the I don't think the uh, levels add up to either Trishula, but that doesn't matter when well one time I was to get Trishula, and then it was summoned on the field. I don't know who I was dueling at the time. Was it Shark? No, I'm pretty sure that's just recency bias. I don't think it was Shark. But Shark is good at summoning Trishula. Just to ask. I could probably pull for Trishula. I don't think I have the level 11 one, but I'm pretty sure I have the one at level 9. Okay, this is an issue. And now here's here's the winning strat. Get rid of the right card, and I mean the right card. Um, which card is the one I should destroy? Uh, sure, my right, I guess. He can activate that. I'm not sure that's good. You take no damage for I have to do something to that other field card, okay, dude? Alright, now this... This goes against my main strategy. Obviously. But I have to have an elemental hero card on the field. Get one second. Although he might still use that back row card anyway. Especially if he can. But he doesn't know I have Stratos in my hand. So there's that. I want to get rid of his back row card because it's it scares me. Not not seriously, it's just I have to take precautions, especially after losing to Forbidden Chalice. You may be like, "How did you do that?" You'll figure that out later. My opponent is just sitting here like, "Did you read?" This is called spite, okay, so burner. Although Spike doesn't really get you wins, does it? I know. Alright, your move. I don't really like how this is going. Hmm, huh, so is that a spell, a trap, or a monster? And based on how basic deck, you know, that could be a... Hold on. What are you doing? That card, huh? That card made me put one card in my extra deck. Although, to be fair, I've seen some deckless, and a lot of people have that card in the deck, and I was just late. I wanted to use super polymerization, but I needed I needed a fire monster. Well, I needed a fire monster that would be you that would be summonable with that monster as fusion material. 
So I, so I uh, addressed that. I addressed that and I fixed it. All right then, he's probably deciding what to do next. Maybe he's trying to end me this turn, I'm not sure. No, let's see. He's definitely going to target Strato Stratos first. Cause, he, Cause I take a lot of damage from that. And his turn is over! I was going to use that for some reason or another. What does it do? Uh. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh, sure. I can use super polymerization again. Although I don't think I. I don't really want to. But what does his late monster do? And should I really have you bail with it next to a late monster? Oh, I think you bail is fine, but still. Okay, what does this do? Mm-hmm. Oh! I see! That's why. Well then! This is definitely not what I want to do, but, you know... I have to. I have to do many things in life that I don't want to do. Now what are you going to do now, Soap Runner? I destroyed that card. It's off the field. Well, rather than destroy it, I just used it for what I wanted it to be used for. It was actually rather fun and hilarious. Because you couldn't really do anything about it. I'm sure you didn't really like seeing that happen. But don't worry, I'm sure you've got a plan, right? All right, then. You've got a plan, but I'm still going to attack you over and over again. I've seen this UV used against me, so you can imagine that I would retain that kind of strategy, Soap Runner. You can thank Gore for this. You know, since he uses an archetype that took advantage of me having one card on the field. Damn it, get, take advantage of my card being unable to be destroyed by battle, dear lord, Gore. A and Playmaker did the same thing, and so, so did a lot of other people. Other people did it too. I'm sure Jack had a turn. Anyway, guys, let's go and try things up for this video. It is long, dear lord. <laughs>